All right, this is vlog 16, autism yeah. vlog 16. Hi, Connor. Hi, Dad. Jenny's going to head out to church here in a second. I'm going to stay here with Connor and Alistair because they have croup. Mm. He uh, woke us up last night with a really bad cough. Alistair did, poor guy. So, do you want to talk about a little bit how Connor's doing, Brittany? I'm really good. Well, after that first week, we were worried he wouldn't um, adjust to school, you know, being mainstreamed and all, but he's actually done really well. I just had parent-teacher conference, and uh, he's killing it. He's excelling in all of his classes, math, reading, uh, writing, and um, he's drawing all the time. He's happy. There was a little bit of a blip this last week, though, which was kind of sad. Um, apparently, the teacher caught a note that his um, little neighbor in his uh, table group was writing and um, said things like, Connor's an idiot, you know, <coughs> he's dumb, you know, just, just kind of bullying yeah. stuff. And I... The teacher said he didn't see it, but Connor mentioned how his friend got in trouble, so I think he knows something's up. Anyway, so they changed tables. I mean, the kid got sent to the principal. The parents were notified. They really did just take care of it really well, but it just kind of drives home, you know, like, you know, it's not going to go away. You know what I mean? Like, we could go yeah. anywhere. We could go to any school. And this Ian was bullied in his happen. special needs class, Yeah, right? by other special needs students. I mean, it, this is, it's not like a, a safe space is going to change anything. You know what I mean? Yeah. What do you think, Connor? You like your new school? Mm -hmm. You have friends there? Mm -hmm. What are your friends? What are your friends? Um, Name Antonio some of them. Antonio and Jade. Antonio? Yeah, and Jade. And Jade? Mm -hmm. and Grant, right? And yeah, Grant. Grant's and your friend. Grant? Mm -hmm. Grant's very good. That's good. Can you look in the camera? Beautiful eyes. <laughs> okay, so we talked about some of the reasons we've kept Connor in elementary school. Uh, where he's at, even though we've had the runaways, even though he's had bullying and things like that. There's pros and cons to every place he's going to go. Um, as we mentioned earlier, Ian had bully, uh, had a bully at his school. Um, he always referred to him and yes. said he had a bad day because of this kid. And this was in a special needs class. So you're going to find bullies everywhere. You're going to find conflict everywhere. So we are keeping Connor mainstreamed for the time being. We might change our minds if things get really bad. He gets really bullied. But so far, he's really loving it. Um, what I liken it to is when I was about 14, I really started to get into playing drums. Went to buy some drums at a drum shop and they were playing a videotape and it was Buddy Rich. And if any of you guys have ever heard of Buddy Rich or seen Buddy Rich play, he was referred to as the world's greatest drummer. So I quickly bought the tape because I wanted to learn from him. Now most people would say you need to start very basic and work your way up. And I did learn the basics and things like that, but because he was such an inspiration and I wanted to emulate him. Um, I would get really worked up, really energized whenever I watched this tape, and then I would play better because of it. I would improve because of watching him. So what we're hoping is, is when Connor surrounds himself with people who um, might be doing better academically than in special needs classes, not that that's always the case, but um, in this case he's rising to the occasion. So you surround yourself with people who are better than you, you can rise to the occasion. It doesn't always work out that way, but I think it's going to work out that way in Connor's case. His teacher is really proud of him. In some cases, he's surpassing other students. That's, that's a chair. So I'm going to wrap it up there because the kids are making noise. But Anyway, so that was the update. Connor's doing a lot better. Um, he is, as we're saying, doing better than some of the other students, which is incredible. We're really happy to hear that. Um, just goes to show, you never know with autism how things are going to work out. There is hope. Um, sometimes they'll just surprise you. So, hopefully that was positive and it's getting kind of loud in here. What's that? What? Great, huh?